Fortnite 2.0 has just been released, so in today's video I'll be doing a full rundown of the new upgraded features of Gemini 2.0. So just head over to gemini.google.com if you'd like to use this new model. And as you can see, there is a new Flash experimental model. Some things that are fairly new um, is that you can now upload images. And I think the AI should be able to understand those images a little bit better. So I'm going to upload an image of a Google Ads account. I'm going to ask it to explain what is in this image. So let's go ahead and see if it can actually go ahead and read that content and give us back information from that content. So it's assessing the document. It's using 2.0 Flash. The image is a screenshot of Google Ads dashboard, campaign status, diagnostic insights, campaign diagnostics, locations, keywords. In essence, this image shows a newly created Google Ads campaign for medical aesthetics that is awaiting approval to start running. Once approved, the campaign will start showing ads to potential customers and the dashboard will begin to populate data clicks and other metrics. Okay, so that's really good sources and relevant content. So what's interesting here with Gemini is that it actually has access to your Google, um, your Google Drive. So as we can see, it's pulling up information from my Google Drive. So if I head over to SEO Masterclass prompts, this is sources and related content. So that is going to be very, very useful if you are a business or an organization and you have and you like to pull up content or pull up documents or use documents as reference within your drive. So it says it's not able to search conversations across devices or accounts. So I'm pretty interested as to where it was able to get this information from. I guess what was ever related to this specific input, that was what it was able to pull up. So pretty cool. I can go to show all and it will show me all of my sources and related content. So I can also use the mic to speak to Gemini. And as I mentioned earlier, this is an upgraded model. So that means it should be able to write better content. I've given it a very simple prompt to write following the best SEO practices, write an article that is 2000 words and how to start and grow an AI SaaS company, include lists, tables, charts, and write in Markdown. So let's see what this article looks like. It is pretty quick. I must say that was very fast. And comparing the older Gemini models, I think that this output is a little bit better. Um, how to start and grow an AI SaaS company, da da da, validating your AI SaaS idea, defining your target audience, choosing the right AI technology, focus on building your AI sales product, example table of metrics, and a conclusion. This is this is a comprehensive outline. So it's saying that this is just an outline, even though I told to write the full article. How to start an AI SaaS company, da da da. Not bad by any means. I would say that this is a decent article. Is it a complete article? Probably not. It's only 800 words. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually expand this. Now, I told you to keep the same style tone, expand the article to 2000 words to see if we're actually able to get a much longer article. So this is over 1200 words. So as we can see here, it was able to give us more information. Um, and we have some nice tables here. We would just have to go ahead and tell it to continue writing. Because it's in experimental mode, that's why we have to do a lot of prying to get the content. But when we were able to expand it, we got a pretty large article here. This is 1800 words, right, on how to start and grow an AI SaaS company. And I would say overall, this is a pretty decent article. We're going to do a quick scan on originality.ai to see what the AI score will be from Gemini. It'd be interesting to see if this will have a lower score or the typical high AI detection score like other LLMs. So in terms of AI detection, originality.ai says that this is most likely AI. Hey, let's go ahead and take a look at plagiarism. In terms of plagiarism, there's 11% match, which is actually pretty high for an LLM. Usually you get something less than 5% match in terms of plagiarism. Let's go ahead and actually test this on new and writer. So this is the keyword, how to start and grow an AI SaaS. We're going to go ahead and paste in this article. So again, 1800 words, we're going to generate a title. And then we're going to generate a description to see how SEO optimized this article was right off the get go. So 44, not bad. Of course, it could be a little bit better, but we could have done better by improving our prompt to tell the AI to write in an SEO format and give it more instructions on how to write following the best SEO format. But overall, I would say that Gemini has got some nice upgrades. Not only are you able to write better, you can use a gem manager, and this has some pre-built gems 
sort of like GPTs in which you can use, such as the coding partner, career guide, brainstormer, and the chess champ. And if you head over to settings and then extensions, you can go ahead and see the extensions in which you can use with Gemini. So you can connect Gemini to your Google workspace, Google flights, Google maps, YouTube, YouTube music, and so on. So you can really connect Gemini with all of your Google products. And that's where it becomes really, really useful. Maybe it's not the best LLM, but it's going to be the best at connecting with your already existing apps, which allows you to find, do more research a lot quicker and connect all of your different documents into one place. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this updated review of Gemini. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care.